Okay, in this game we play as black. And just develop the pawn and the knight. Managing lovely key squares. Again, managing key squares, especially for the knight jumping here, potentially attacking this pawn. And developing the knight. Castle in keeping king safe. So now this is where we're looking at the answer process in its uh, fullest form now. We've got past the opening stage, which is basically, at the end of the day, making sure somehow your king is safe. Whether it's castling like this or you're feeling comfortable that your king is in the center, but you're feeling safe that your pieces are activated somehow. However you feel your king is secure, and your pieces are secure in their own right, then I would class that as the opening. Yep. Because trans transposing into the mid game and the end game, if you're if you're one of those players that has to have those sections, you know, opening, mid, uh, end, um, then understanding that, making sure that somehow you're secure with your pieces and secure with your king. Um, that's what you're doing. Your opening is basically ensuring that those things are taking place. And the answer process is to try and shake that up. It's to basically say, well, I don't want your king secure. I don't want your pieces feeling safe, you know? So that's the answer. Reverse those safety mechanisms and basically you want to knock down the doors, you want to break away the keys, break away the locks, everything. So in my head when I'm playing these sort of games I am using the end game opening. So I am thinking about how can I get to that king or the weak areas, how can I chip away at the weak areas to eventually get to the king. Yeah, it might be a slow process but a little bit at a time if I'm steadily improving my position on the board, attacking weak areas, weak pieces, then some, somehow, somewhere, I'm going to eventually get through that wall that is protecting the king and eventually get the king off the board if the opponent doesn't capitulate before them. So they bring the bishop out, we open up now securing the pawn here but also getting ready for the bishop to attack could come here to x-ray through to the queen but we like attacking the bishop here because it's loose and if they allow us to take then it weakens their area a little bit in the center they move back but i'm not even bothered even if they open on this side it's worse if it's on my king's side but i'm not bothered about this so we'll take here so they can take with either pawn so chipping away a little bit a little bit at a time We've doubled their pawns in a sense. On the positive side, we've opened up a half file for their rook. But does their rook really want to stay here? That's the question. So their rook comes through to the centre. We bring our rook into the centre. Not the centre of the ball, but... Okay, so we grab this pawn. Now we're looking to just demolish the centre if we can, because we want to work around it as best possible. So they capture... And we bring our bishop back now. We're just basically saying, okay, well, we want to manage around this um, area. How can we get towards their king? He's looking a bit solid at the minute, but we do have a two-on-one here. He's currently just got his knight on there. The rook was protecting, but the bishop's just come in front. So is there a little bit of play that we can take there? So he moves the knight, capturing, so capture, and the knight moves to the far side of the board which was actually protecting this pawn here so we grab the pawn with the knight and just being mindful does have an x-ray through got to think does the bishop have a check on the king that type of stuff uh, so feeling fairly safe so we bring the knight back queen's coming down now attacking this lowly pawn here so we bring our queen up just to protect for a moment and now the rook's gone opposite our queen that's not a very happy position for us so we push the pawn up now just preventing um, any action towards our queen knight comes down attacking the queen so we bring the queen up 
and the knight is doing lots of single attacks which is good for us so we move the queen out of the way opposite their rook and um, that might not have been the best move but we are actually attacking a pawn over here so that's the reason why we moved it there so the bishop hides out of the way looking for a discover check on the queen so we take the pawn and the bishop comes back um, looking a bit lively is attacking our knight as well so we take the rook because we have a check on the king so we still win that tempo in a sense and the only piece that can take it could move out of the way which probably would have been better for them because our queen is looking to take the bishop off the board the rook takes queen takes the bishop pawn attacks our queen so the queen moves down and at this point the opponent res resigned the knight doesn't really have any place to jump to because it's just going to get taken and we're slowly but surely gaining more material throughout the game and the, the position on the board is improving as well so it's a bit like what we said at the very beginning uh, the answer process in its um, rawest form really is about not quick and dirty tactics it's about getting those positions that allow you to chip away slowly but surely at your opponent's weak points weak areas definitely trying to squish the king um, it's not quick and dirty tactics as we keep on saying because there is a massive difference between the two um, we are looking to improve our position at each movement that we're making targeting appropriately not going for cheap shots going for like trying to build build pieces up yes we can go for single attacks if there's no appropriate counter attack coming from the opponent so the answer process is in its own right really has started to improve a lot more um, since its introduction um, about two and two and a half three years ago and hopefully um, kicking it in quite nicely and these are short games as well these are five minute games that we played um, utilizing the answer process